Hello guys, I recently had an interesting case with form request validation and I want to show it to you. What if you need some validation rule applied on formatted input, the input that should be changed before validation, kind of filtering. Let me explain. First I will show you the problem and then two possible solutions. So imagine you have a text area in my demo project case I have to invite members and this is a text area which is basically one input. So in the form, it's a regular text area with name, emails, nothing really fancy. But then the controller uses form request that needs to validate the emails one by one. It doesn't validate the text area, but it needs to process the emails. And this is one of the way of doing that. Have inline validation rule, or it could be a separate rule maybe, like a class. And then inside of the form request, you may create functions. And then another part of the problem, what if you need to validate those emails as array items, but also you need those emails as array in the controller itself later. So first we validate the emails and then we send the invitations and this is an array, not the text area value. Basically the problem is this, what if you need a transformed data in controller and in form request? And as I mentioned, one of the ways is to have a function inside a form request, which you may call inside of the same form request to transform that text area value into array and then perform the validation inside of form request and then also reuse the same get emails array as it is a public function you can call it like this so validation happens from the controller definition as a parameter but then the same function is used here for the second time this may be possible but you already hear me that it's not ideal because the function is called twice so if you want to transform some data before the validation and then get that as a result of validation in request validated in the form request there's a function called prepare for validation so this is the refactored option refactored way of the same goal so prepare for validation gets the input then transforms it into whatever value you want and then works with the transformed value both inside of rules like this emails becomes an array from being a text area and then all the validation rules from array can be applied like required, min, max, and then you can validate each items like this instead of doing that inside of some function. And then in the controller to get those emails is just this request validated and then the key of emails. So yeah, it feels like a niche case and pretty rare scenario, but I wanted to show you this example so that you would use that for your examples if you need any transformation of data before validation to be used in the rules of form request and then reuse it as the result of form request itself. What do you think? Have you ever used prepare for validation? What were your use case? Or maybe you have a case against using that? You have other options? Let's discuss all of that in the comments below. And finally, I want to remind you, no, not about the courses. There's a free newsletter on Laravel Daily here on the top right. There's a link that leads here and every Thursday for many years, something like eight years, I've been sending a weekly digest of my own content as well as links from the community. So this is the latest example. Whenever I see something, I save it to bookmarks and then send it out links to YouTube, Titan.com, official blog and others. So if you want to get that every week, again for free, the link is in the description below or just go to LaravelDaily.com and click newsletter. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.